What's up, everybody? I had to come talk to you in another kind of way. Like, uh, last time I talked to you, I had hiccups and stuff. Maybe people didn't understand what I tried to say and what I tried to do, what I tried to get the world. I mean, I don't mean like people who are in high positions in life. I mean, people who are normal, you know, living in apartments, living in villas, working nine to five and paying tax and you know paying mortgage and paying bank loans paying car loans you know paying all these loans and all these bills that they are pay, uh, paying around the world uh, i mean like from europe latin america china russia wherever you are canada australia india wherever you are wherever you're from in this world this message goes to you First of all, I'd like to tell you that, uh, of course, I want to get likes. I'm not out to get likes or views, you know, normally, because uh, they've been reduced, my likes and views, and they've been shut off because I do what I do. And uh, that's why it's important for you who hear this, that you will tell this further to your best friend, your moms and your sisters, and they will tell it further so the word gets out, and then we try to link up get together and talk what I try to do once again I will tell you that uh, I see how the world is changing many ways and uh, I see how people are suffering if from sickness from cancer from whatever I see how money is just disappearing from all over the place people have saved their money they got nothing left I see I'm not gonna uh, say stuff because it, it, it would be like sensitive right but uh, we have to start helping each other if we don't help each other we are doomed this is this is a fact this is nothing that I'm, I'm making up people know this you see how obesity has been taken over from the 80s till now people are like 100 kilos bigger or 200 pounds bigger so I've been boxing all my life I had a lot of problems with the law in Sweden. I had problems with myself as a kid. I had problems with many people around the world. I'm not perfect. This is not what I'm here to tell you. But I just want to make that clear. So if you hear something or they say something about me, know that maybe some of that can be true, but many stuff can be over-exaggerated. So keep that in mind. I just want to come clean. What I want to tell you is that uh, I'm born in Senegal, I live in Sweden. I've been living in Sweden since I was eight years old. And uh, my biggest mission in life is to change uh, history, change uh, the ways uh, humans are living their ways. Uh, humans are, are uh, change the way humans are feeling about themselves. I mean, boost their self-esteem, boost their possibility. I like to give a lot. I'm a man that gives. I like to give. Of course, I like to receive, but I like to give. If I say receive, I mean in a positive way. Receive knowledge, receive uh, funding or whatever, if I can get it. It's cool. But uh, I'm a positive man. And all these years that has passed by, you can uh, reflect it in my music. It has been very dark. And in my boxing and the life that I've been living. Because like uh, uh, this last 10, 20 years, there's been many drastic shifts in human history. In many ways, we have discovered uh, a lot about the world we are living in. Without getting into details, you will know what I mean. Think about some current events that has happened around the world that has been big, you know, for the last 10, 20, 30 years. What I want to tell you, if you're even a policeman or a military or a politician that is not accepted by the establishment or by the higher powers that, that be, these are the people that we need. These are the people that we need because these are the people that can help change the world. We need to change the world. I know you know it. I know I know it. Let me tell you something. If you think you know a secret and you are keeping a secret because somebody told you a secret and you are keeping the secret, then you're stupid. You know why? Because you don't know why he told you to keep that secret. 
because maybe that's something big for him and something bad for you. I'm not saying that you should say all the secrets you know, but I'm saying that you should uh, always consider what is logic and what is not logic. You should always think outside the box. You understand me? If you think outside the box, you will start seeing, connecting the dots. You understand me? On certain stuff in life. And this is what I'm here to tell you. Without saying more, I'm trying to explain more. So you can use your imagination, use your head. You understand me? So what I try to do is for the youth, the young kids in Sweden, around the world, America, the ghettos, wherever you're from, the people even who are on drugs, the people who are sitting on Facebook, the people who has blogs, the people who has Instagram, Weibo, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Instagram, whatever social media you have, please, 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 I beg you, start the hashtag African World Order. Why I call it the African World Order, I'm going to get into that. African World Order is something that, that uh, has to do with all of us. Africa has to do with all of us. If it's religion, it has to do with all of us. If it's history, it has to do with all of us. If it's, uh, if it's, uh, if it's technology, Maybe not, but from the beginning, they had a lot of technology in, in Africa too. So, but not in the same frequency or the same amount or the same capacity as today. Yes, but that was back in the days. So, uh, you have to always uh, know where stuff comes from so you know where you're headed. That's very important, right? So, this is what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you. I'm no racist. I don't hate white people. I don't hate Chinese or Arabs or nothing. I was born a Muslim. I came to Sweden. I started becoming myself. I have always had the faith to God, the energy that we call God. I've always had the faith to God. Sometimes my life has been dark. I've looked to other ways to try to find the light. And I've always come back to myself. And I always come, come back to my senses. And I always come back to what is normal for the human beings in life. I know that many people say the Muslims are very ex, uh, extreme in their ways of believing. I can say that that's not my problem to judge because I'm not God. I cannot judge people. I cannot judge you for what you do. You cannot judge me for what I do. So for me, that is like out of my league. But I can say one thing that I understand. With Muslims, Christianity, Buddhist monks, uh, Hindu Gutta, this, Indi uh, 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 this Indian uh, people, Hinduism, and uh, from, from, from Hebrew, Israel, all of these religions, right? People who believe are the strongest minded people in this world. Because people who don't believe, who lose their faith, who lose what, what has brought them to this day or brought them forward till until they, they, they are where they are today, these are the people that need to be looked up on because they have something that the others don't have. And this is what I'm trying to get from you who is watching. I'm trying to get you to believe in this because this is what the world needs today. We don't need no more wars. We don't need no more machine guns. We don't need no more kids killing each other. We don't need no more people stealing money from us so we can be poor and don't have nothing to eat. Our kids cannot grow up and have the stuff that they have. We need to start looking up for each other. This is what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I'm trying to form the African World Order. I'm looking for the best, the brightest, the strongest business-minded people you can find in this world who will come together you and me contact us and try to do something better so i'm telling you that if you can understand what i'm trying to tell you and what i'm trying to do that's good then you are the one that i need if you can't understand what i'm trying to do and you say that this is maybe you know this is fake. Cool for you. Stay where you are. Do what you do. But I know what I'm doing. I know what I see. I know what I understand. I know what I'm trying to do. So I'm telling you that if 
you can come together and form this with me. Wherever you are in this world, you can find me on the internet. You can find me wherever. You can Google my name. You can do whatever. You can get to people who knows me. Stuff like that. So we can come together and start forming this open society thing where we come together and work together towards a better future for you, for me, for your kids, their future, and their future. Because what we left behind is one thing, but what we will do forward will make us the better person of tomorrow, of our future, of our legacy. Understand me? Remember what I tried to tell you. This is not because I'm black or I'm white or I'm yellow or whatever. This is because I always go back to where the foundation is. And if you understand what I mean, in Africa, Africa has building the world, has been building the world in so many different ways. If you go to slavery, if you go to uh, uh, minerals, if you go to gold, if you go to diamonds, if you go to whatever you want in history, Africa has always been there for the world. You understand me? This is why the Africans need to come together. The people around Africa need to come together. The people around Arabia, Saudi Arabia, wherever, uh, Yemen, wherever, wherever you're from, Iraq, Iran, Syria, wherever you're from, Russia, Japan, Tokyo, China, wherever you're from, Europe, Canada, Germany, wherever you're from, we need to come together and work towards forming this order. We need the best people around the world, the best companies around the world that is not accepted by the current establishment in the world to come to us, help us build this. This is the future. This is where the money is. This is what we need to do. Understand me? So I'm sorry if I forgot something. If I forgot something that you know that I forgot, please comment and tell me. But uh, we are trying to make humans come together. We don't need no World War Three. We don't need no World War Two that we had, or even World War One, that has been like you know, shattering our our history. We don't need no trucks or no car bombs or no house bombs or nothing. We don't need none of that. We know what that's about. We've seen the action movies. We've seen what has happened. We've seen the children. We've seen the women. We've seen the kids being trafficked, we see, we see the woman, prostitutes who's been uh, trafficked, we've seen a lot of misery, we've seen the slaves from, 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 from Libya to Europe, we've seen a lot, we've seen the people in China, uh, the Muslims in China, we've seen the war in Afghanistan, we've seen the war in Libya, we've seen the war in Iraq, we've seen the war with, with, with uh, uh, rebels in, in Mali, we've seen Boko Haram, we've seen Al Qaeda, We've seen ISIS. All of this has been taken out, slowly but surely. I know that it still exists, but all of this has been taken out. Now we, the human kind, need to come together to make the world a better place. Because, I tell you, I'm, politi I'm politically involved in a party that we build up. But they don't want to let us in. So we take the other way. You understand me? We take the other way. We're not out to come into Parliament, because Parliament don't want us there. If they wanted us there, we would be there. So we work in a different way, with all respect to Sweden, with all respect to whoever is in this country. We respect you, we see what you've done for the country, and we co continue supporting you in what you do. But now we need to get our feet and our hands and our heads together to form something bigger. Still, we respect you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. All organizations around the world that is watching, all news people that is watching, all police people that is watching, you have to use your mind. You have to come to the conclusion that, you know, life is ticking. Every second is ticking. And if you are working on the side you are working, I respect that. You know, I respect that. I do respect that because you have to feed your family. But there is other ways we can do that. We don't need to go to war in different countries. We don't need to like uh, sell small children or stuff like that to get the money. These are the things that has been, you know, hurting me a lot. This changed me a lot, you know. 
It's changed me a lot. And whatever people tell you about me, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but I know that these parts that I've put up has never been a part of my life. So what, whatever people will tell you about me, I'm going to tell you that that's not true. And I've been fighting, you know, discos and uh, with bouncers and stuff like that. Yeah, I've done that. Drank myself full and went out and fought. I broke up with, with girls and we had a fight and they locked me up. Yeah, they wanted to say that I was crazy, but I know that I'm not crazy because a crazy man don't, don't talk this way. So I just want to get some things off my chest. But I understand if you have concerns. If you have concerns, please contact me. I will discuss them with you. Anyway, anyhow. But what I want to leave you with is the hashtag, the African World Order, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you are. Hashtag the African World Order. If you can share this video, please share it. We respect everyone inside all the unions, inside all the countries, inside all the places in the world. I respect even the doctor who's working against me to try to prove that I'm not feeling good. I respect even her. Understand me? I respect everybody because I have a, a, a I have another way of seeing stuff that they don't do because people are in the dark. They're not in the light. They say they're in the light, but they're in the dark. So for me, it's okay. You can do what you want to do. You can say what you want to say. It's cool by me. I'm just trying to help the humankind become better. I'm just trying to help everybody in this world, all the kids that are starving around the world, from Brazil, from favela, from the ghettos in South Africa, from the ghettos of Senegal, where, where I was born, to Stockholm, Skarnik, here, where I am today, to the studio, to wherever, Los Angeles, New York, wherever. These are the people that I'm thinking about, what I can do for them why my time is ticking. That's why I'm forming this African world order. It's not like this other world order stuff that people are talking about. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about them. I never seen none of them. I never heard I've heard on the internet but I never heard nothing about them. I'm trying to make something that the world can feed off, so that the world can eat off. You understand me? So Africa is the motherland for all races all humans, all precious metals, all the telephones you're using, and many more stuff that is coming from Africa. We don't need to go through, uh, through all of them. Diamonds that people love, gold that we love, everything is in Africa. So, this is what I'm telling you. We need to form this with the people in Africa who are below the governments. Because the governments in Africa are not working today. We know that. Nothing new. If the governments would be working, Africa would, would be different today. So now we, the people, need to get our hands up, get our feet up, take our shovel or, or our, I don't know, whatever, cross or whatever, believe in ourselves and move this world forward. That's what I have to say to you. My name is Aldo Koliander. I'm from Senegal, born in Senegal, lived in Sweden, Stockholm, been here since I was eight years old. I'm 41 years old, I've been a boxer, I do music, I do art, I do all kinds of stuff. So, that's enough about me. I went to school in Sweden, I've learned a lot in Sweden. Sweden is a very good country, very stable country, and uh, I love the country, and I love Africa, and I love Senegal, and I love everybody that I have around me, and I respect everybody. That's me. So please, follow this the African world order, follow what we try to do, follow what we try to say, and understand that this is not for me. I can continue my boxing career, I can continue my, mu my music career, but I start seeing stuff differently lately, and this is what has happened. So, thank you, have a nice day, nice week, wherever you are, nice life, if we don't see each other more, but I hope you keep following and you keep sharing and you keep talking about this that we are trying to do. Wherever you are in this world, thank you. And YouTube, stop please with the views and the plays. Facebook, views and the plays. Instagram, views and the plays. Please, we beg you, please stop that. Thank you all.